Julia from Tang Te Sing Hospital in Singapore and the reason why we are here today is because we have submitted a poster on the process and system improvement. The one topic I attend is talking about what matters to you. Basically, it's about reflecting about patients' value, what their needs, their wants, and how can they be, how can this be adopted in the organization uh, planning, the structure, to in order to deliver a better patient care and safety, and most important, most importantly, is to improve their satisfaction in the hospital. Yeah, and experience that's very important. Great. This time we hear a lot, a lot uh, talking about the person-centered care uh, because we think that uh, because now we have a lot of IT, we have a lot of uh, technology but uh, for the patient most important actually is the human touch, uh, is a person-centered care. So uh, when we came here and we, we know that in Singapore we are also talking about person-centered care and this morning when we went for the um, some of the forum, we are also listening about presence and the care. Yeah, I'm thinking about in 20 years that we are not only focusing on ITs, we should focusing on the patients. Yeah, we think that quality and improvement is continuous improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Every year we can learn something. Yeah, yeah, we get to learn something and a lot of things from a lot of organizations. Yeah, correct. Not just being constrict, confined in just Singapore context, but other worldwide context as well. Yeah. So our poster is more on um, what redesign improvement, and then uh, the entire improvement project is actually driven by process improvement. Uh, process improvement. And why is it so? Because our infrastructure is actually more than ten years old. So, and moreover, we are. We are facing a demographic change in patient profile, which is the aging population, which is actually quite common in Asian country. So we think that the existing infrastructure and facilities are not adequate to meet their needs and expectations. So how do we go about doing it is, first of all, we gather uh, feedbacks from all levels of people, including the doctors, the nurses, most importantly the patients, and maybe the other admin staff, to see how can we improve the infrastructure to meet their expectations. So we form like various work groups and then we we basically we just give the possible perspective uh, from each of the groups to see what do they hope to see in their workplace as a patient, as a um, healthcare worker. Yep. And then after that we just test and review the concept and then we build a mock-out settings and then we again we try to test see whether the possible design features that we we intend to implement is it feasible in our workplace and then finally we develop the ideas with, together with all the necessary infrastructure en enhancement and we do a testing on um, do a testing on the patient inpatient wards. Yes, inpatient wards, correct. Yeah. So and then we have um, collected feedbacks and surveys and basically all this led majority leads to an improvement in the statistics in our indicators, our key project indicators. Yep. So all this um, helps to uh, help us achieve the targets in uh, patient safety, increase in patient contact time, as well as infection control capability. Yeah. Uh, actually, the key changes now is that we design a ward that we move the nurses counter in the patient's cubicle, and also uh, we have uh, acute care area for the patients. Uh, so we monitor the nurse. Uh, patient call bell response time. That means when the infrastructure was changed, the, pa the nurse can answer patient's call bell very fast and also we can provide a direct care for the patients. Mm. Yeah.